Let me welcome everyone in to the launch of the Chilterns in this spectacular setting when we are exhibiting for one night only the 44 photos of Marylebone that have been taken by the world-renowned David Bailey. There's hardly any people in these pictures. They're mostly... Uh, it, it was about Malabo. Ma I can never say that word. <laughs> Mary by the bone. <laughs> the, I think bone was the name of a river, was there? That's what you called a river, a bone. So it's Mary by the Bone, Mary by the River. So all this was about that area. It wasn't because people could move in and out of the area, but this was about that area. So I went more for, for buildings and, you know, without people in it. We did it January, February and March. It was quite a stuff winter. So I, I, I really can't believe I did it in three months because it should have taken about a year at least. David is a Londoner through and through, and the way that David interprets London is fantastic. And we couldn't have thought of anybody we'd rather have taken the photographs. We were actually delighted when he said he would do it. So there's 44 different photographs, all of the Marylebone Village, and one photograph will go to each of the purchasers of the 44 apartments. It's all pretty considered. The, the colour are mostly digital cameras, and the, all the black and whites are film cameras. If you do people, they might be tourists or they might be moving through, whereas this is permanent, this is, this is the way it looks. It's not going to change unless that plastic orchid dies. When I look through all these pictures, even though I know there wasn't necessarily a brief for David Bailey, it's David Bailey coming through and he has actually captured that better than if he was given a very strict brief or any photographer could have done. So I think it's a very, very smart move. I think it's, it's going to work. I think it's really interesting, especially for me, because I actually work in the area. So I associate myself with quite a lot of the photographs. It just kind of shows all the characteristics of the different areas that there are. That's me there, and I'm standing in front of my son's wonderful shop display. We've got every type of jam and preserve that we sell in the shop. And it's just a testament to my son's wonderful ability to display what we sell. That village atmosphere that you have in up and down Mount Lebanon High Street and the streets off it, particularly Chilton Street, where there's a hotel being built, some wonderful shopping, you actually feel that they needed some really high quality residential to add to it. And this was a great opportunity to do just that.